When we, when we choose sin, even I'm going to call good sin, because the Bible says that when we know the good we should do, but we don't do it. So you're supposed to do something nice and you don't do that. You know, that's the, to the Bible, it's called sin. Even our good sin, our best behavior sin, our, I'm, I'm, I'm really doing the right things, but for wrong motives, because God judges our motives, not just what we do, but he judges our motives, right? God judges the attitude of our heart, all that stuff. So I can do a good thing for a wrong motive. And God calls that sin. That when I do things, according to my flesh, according to how I think, it, I'm hostile to God. What it really means is God's trying to accomplish this and I'm choosing not to cooperate. That's what that means. Okay, let's go to a, 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 an office environment and you're the employer. And you say, I would like everybody to accomplish the following things today. And you give them the list of things you have to accomplish. And one of your employees spend their time on the phone. And what they're doing is they're just talking to their spouse and telling their spouse how much they love them and how good they are. And then they call their kids and they're telling their kids how much they're awesome they are. And, and they're, they're, they're arranging to, to, sp- to take their money, transfer from their, their account to spend all their money over to some kind of orphanage in Africa to help people out over there. And they spent their whole day doing stuff that was just selfless. And they've encouraged people and let people know how valuable they are to them. And they've spent their money on all these other things just selflessly. But they didn't do what you wanted them to do. They worked against you. They were the enemy in the office day. They were hostile to what you were trying to accomplish in the office. I mean, you could lose your job. We would lose our jobs. If you go in the office and you spend your entire day encouraging people and praying for people and giving your money away to the poor, you do all these things all day long. If you're not doing what you paid for, they will fire you. Why did they fire me? Well, they fired you because you gave all your money to the poor. No, they didn't. They fired you because you sent a really nice message to your children. Nope, that wasn't it. Why did they fire you? Because you did not do what they asked you to do that day. You were hostile. You were against. You actually worked against what they were trying to accomplish. Now let's make that God. So when God stirs you to take a next step, why do you think that is? When God asks you to stop doing something or start doing something, when God is working in you to accomplish something, if God has a list of good works he wants to accomplish in your lifetime through you, Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10, he's God. He wants us to respond to him, to do the things he's asked us to do, that he is stirring us in the moment to do. 